This is part 5 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss two-way data binding in Angular. Along the way, we'll also discuss one of the very useful directive ng-model. Two-way data binding keeps the model and the view in sync at all times. That is, a change in the model updates the view and a change in the view updates the model. Let's understand this two-way data binding with an example. Within our controller function right here, we have this dollar scope object available. To that, I'm going to attach this message variable, which is going to be our model. And within this variable, I'm going to store this string, hello Angular. To display this model data within the view, we use a data binding expression. Let's save the changes. And when we reload this web page, we should see the model data, hello Angular. The binding expression updates the view when the model changes. But what if we want the other way around? When the view changes, we want the model to be updated automatically. That's exactly is the purpose of ng-model directive. ng-model directive updates the model when the view changes. Let's look at this action. I'm going to include a text box within this view. Input type equals text. Let's include ng-model directive. And the value for this is going to be message, which is the same variable that we have attached to the scope object. So our model here is message, and we have specified that as the value for ng-model directive. Now let's include two HTML break elements. Let's save our changes. And look at what's going to happen when we reload this page. Look at the value in the text box, hello Angular. Whatever data that we have in the model, is automatically displayed in the text box because ng-model directive value is the same as our model here. Now, look at what's going to happen as I type within the text box. Look at the value right here. It's automatically updated. So here, two-way data binding is in action. So as we type into this text box, and since we have specified ng-model directive, value as message, and we already have that model. So the value in the text box is automatically updating that model data. And since we have the binding expression here, that's automatically updating the view as the model updates, the view is updated. So two-way data binding in action. Now let's understand what is going to happen if I specify a different value. Let's say I have ng-model value as greeting. Let's save our changes, and let's reload this page and see what's going to happen. First of all, notice within the text box, we don't have anything because you know ng-model greeting, that's a different model than message, OK? Now, what is going to happen when we type into this text box? As far as the UI is concerned, nothing is going to happen. But behind the scenes, Angular is going to create that model for us, and it's going to store that data in that model, OK? Now, you will see a difference if you use a different data binding expression. So if I specify greeting here, and let's reload this page. So to start with, within our text box, we don't have anything. But as I type into the text box, look at what is happening. You know, a model is created with that name, greeting. And whatever value we type in the text box is stored in that. And since we are using a binding expression here with the same model, the data is automatically updated. So two-way data binding. This ng-model directive can be used with any of these three HTML elements, input, select, and text area. So here, our model is a very simple property like message. Can we work with you know, a complex object? Sure, we can. You know, let's say we have a complex object like employee, which has got several properties like first name, last name, gender, etc. You know, the two-way data binding even works with complex objects. Let's look at a quick example. So what I'm going to do here is create a variable called employee, which is going to be our employee object. And this is going to have first name. Let's initialize first name to Ben, last name let's say Hastings, and gender male. OK, so we have our employee object here. Let's attach to the scope object, $scope.employee equals employee. So we have our model ready. Those are our initial values. And within this web page, what I'm going to include is a table. And let's include a TR. 
and within that two TDs. So within the first TD, let's include something like first name and then we want an input element. So input type equals text and I'm going to include ng-model and the value for this one is going to be employee dot first name. Okay. Look at our model. Our model is employee, which is nothing but this employee object. And within that object, we have these properties, first name, last name, gender. So ng-model is employee.firstName. Okay. And what I'm going to do is actually make two more copies of this tier. So this is going to be our last name. And here, our model will be employee.lastName. And here, employee.gender and let's change the text in this to be gender and I'm going to make a copy of this table okay and use an HTML break and then here you know we will leave that first name there and then I'm going to use a binding expression okay so let's move that inside that binding expression and similarly let's remove that include a binding expression and move this inside. Let's do the same thing for gender. All right, so let's save our changes and reload our web page. Look at that, whatever values initially we had in our model, that is our employee object, those are displayed in the respective text boxes and look at this as I type into first name text box you know that value is updated right here and similarly you know last name and gender so this means we don't have to write any code whatsoever to move the form values into our model okay so that's definitely a great advantage two-way data binding and here is that complex object example that we just worked with Thank you for listening and have a great day.